before we start, I'll just ask uh, uh, the president of the Capital Payments League. Almost half is just a quick break. Good morning, ladies. Sambula Vinaka. Salam alaikum. Namaste. I think this is a very, um, it's one of those mornings that we should pride ourselves in when we see this room full of beautiful and strong and um, talented ladies who have set out to work with the ministry and help uh, complement our work. Mm, I see two faces from Bar. I says whenever I see people from Bar, I just get very excited. It reminds me of home. Uh, some very familiar faces, those I have met over the last uh, eight, nine months. New faces, welcome. And uh, once again, a very warm welcome to you all. And uh, I'm looking forward to a very <coughs> active dialogue that uh, we are going to have and also hearing your plans and how can we go forward. As the director has mentioned, the ministry has uh, other areas of work as well. We are the Ministry for Women, Children and Poverty Alleviation. So we basically look after whole of Fiji. Mm -hmm. And uh, the challenges that come with it is uh, on a daily basis. But nevertheless, uh, I'm enjoying working with the team I had, um, especially with my permanent secretary, my two directors. And with you, I think we have a we have a forged relationship that we will work and take the work forward. And uh, your the Fiji Women's Federation is um, a forum of dialogue between the ministry and uh, representatives from the women's NGO sector, the faith-based organizations, civil society organizations. And at the offset, allow me to thank you, thank you very much. Uh, for working with the ministry and for the work that you have been doing over the last several years. Uh, your work is greatly appreciated. Uh, ladies, the cause for gender equality, women's socioeconomic empowerment, women's social, socio-political empowerment, and combating gender-based violence is a priority for this government. And of course, our ministry is well poised to lead the change together with, by working with you and such organizations. Like they say, no man is an island. Mm -hmm. So in this case, the ministry has taken a collaborative approach by working in partnership with the pr public, private, and non-governmental organizations, both locally and internationally. The support rendered to the ministry so far is overwhelming, and we are keen to work with all, uh, all our partners in this approach. Allow me to inform you of the five thematic areas of our National Women's Plan of Action. One is the formal sector employment and livelihood, equal participation in decision making, eliminating violence against women and children. That is a top item on our agenda at the moment. Access to services, which includes health, HIV and AIDS, and of course education. And the final one, one is women and the law. We also have a national gender policy, which this advisory committee played a role in developing. By next week, there will be a gender advisor on board to assist in the implementation, monitoring, and coordination of this policy matter. Just a few mention uh, key topics that has progressed since we took over office last September. In terms of NGO grants, we have uh, 150,000 provided by the government towards our NGO grants. And um, I was discussing with the director that we need to look at increasing these grants. So hopefully we are able to put a proposal next year for an increased grant to assist in your work. Um, due to the lack of success, well, I see this as a lack of success with income generating projects that we have funded for Women's Group. Now we have looked to partnering with existing vocational institutions that provide vocational training to marginalized women from disadvantaged backgrounds. So, for, so far this year, we have provided a grant of 100,000 to the newly um, established uh, of Fiji Muslim Women's Vocational Center in Makoi, I think awaiting uh, opening sometime soon, once it's <coughs> finished. During uh, so um, our sister here will basically, in her presentation, she'll brief you more about the rationale behind that. This center will provide training in sewing, baking, cooking, and the other modules of program to women from poor disadvantaged backgrounds. And like, I would invite you to go down and see the center. It's it's a very beautiful center that awaits opening. And uh, the, the women from all across the country would be housed, trained, 
regardless of your race, religion, and creed. Eh? So this is basically a center for all disadvantaged Fijian women. The courses will run from one to three months, and more depending on the skills, to ensure that uh, upon graduation, these women can be employed or can be assisted to set up their own home businesses to earn a decent